So the final question was, I wonder whether resources are better invested in faster, larger hardware or on better ways to parallelize code or on better ways to match code with hardware. And that's a very, very interesting question. Um, and it, so it kind of, it works both ways. Um, clearly, if you have once you've written your software, you need um, large amounts of hardware to run it efficiently. You know that if you have a supercomputer which is twice as powerful, hopefully you can run your software twice as fast. However, there's no point in having large hardware, large amounts of hardware, if you don't have the the software to run on it. And there was a very good talk I went to a while back, given by um, Professor Mike Payne from the University of Cambridge, who's been involved in developing a uh, a code a program used for, for, for quantum mechanical calculations of, of, of structure of materials called CASTEP and that's been developed for several decades and he described that he saw it as kind of a playoff between the two what happens is there will break breakthroughs in software which allow you to do new things and then once you've done that then you get new hardware then the hardware gets gets bigger and then you think oh actually now I've got more hardware it's 10 times as big as it was before maybe I can new, new opportunities have opened up and then you go back to software again so it really is an interplay between the two I mean these um, the kind of programs he was talking about um, you saw a case study in week five of one called quantum espresso those kinds of, of applications have grown in power by factors of millions over the past few decades. But, you know, that's been a combination of, of, of you know, factors of, of a few hundred, a thousand from hardware. But actually, the, the major increases in those have come in, in developments in software, people being cleverer, people finding better ways to do things, things which are now, which are thousands of times faster than they were before. Now, they only look at doing that because there's now hardware which allows them to go to the next level. So it is a very, very interesting question as whether we should invest in hardware or software. Um, we need both. There is unf there can be a t trend that people want to invest in hardware because it's very visible. It's, very, it's a bit of a status symbol sometimes to look at this big machine. And it, it's really important we have these big machines there to allow people to, 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 to run their applications at scale. But you know, in investment in, in software, which is fundamental investment in people, is, is equally important. And definitely in the UK, there's been a, a real recognition recently that the role of software developers is really, really important in computational science. And um, there's been a new term come about, RSE, Research Software Engineer, which describes the role of somebody who's on that bridge between the science and the software. So I don't really have a definitive answer, but it's a very, very good question. I think I would say it's really, really important to keep our investment in both. Hardware and software, hardware and people go hand in hand in supercomputing, and they're, they're both important, um, and they both need to be invested in to keep us moving forward.